Oh, this is great. Isn't this cool? It's technically a studio, but the staircase seems sturdy. Ceilings are a little bit low, so you kind of have to walk like this. But if you're up here and you have visitors, you can spy on them. Look at how easy that is. Here we are in the Upper West Side, and the goal of our little adventure is to see two apartments, the first of which is only four minutes away. Right there's the train we got out of, and we've gotta head over this way, through this charming set of scaffolding, to Amsterdam Avenue. This area is pretty much all restaurants and cool little stores. Ving Tea, no clue what this is. Ooh, Village Crepes, they look amazing. And there's coffee. Start your day there every day, it won't be a bad one. On the corner, we've got a massive pizza place. Over here, we got a cafe. This is a Vietnamese restaurant. Not sure what this is. Nobody told me, great name. It looks like a bar or something. Next to that, we've got an Ethiopian spot. This right here is an Indian restaurant. Check this little place out. It looks like a chicken place. Great <laughs> prices. Vietnamese right here. Next to that, we've got sushi. And over here, we have a ranchero bar. Everything around here looks amazing. Amazing. Papa John's. Is this closer or further away from pizza than Domino's? Let me know down below. And then over here we got a Dunkin Donuts. It's August and they're already pumping the pumpkins. Don't be deceived. It's their regular offerings with extra sugar and flavoring, which is probably great for you. Over here we got one of those little bike shops for electric bikes. Probably like this one right here since it's parked out front. I've heard those are insanely dangerous. And what's also dangerous is going to be this deli. Massive sandwiches, cafe Bastello, Axe Body Spray. If you're a man living in New York, I think this place is gonna take all your money. And you'll smell terrific. Then over here, we've got this massive building. Now, since I don't know what this is, you can bet it's probably of cultural and historical importance in some way. You can pause the video here if you're curious. So that right there is the building, and directly across the street, there's a park. Okay, it's really more of a playground. Then over here, we got a little restaurant. It's a little Italian place, plus they have coffee and plenty of outdoor dining. This is the name of the place if you're curious. Thank you. And the prices are blowing me away. This is like a great neighborhood for cheap eats. And uh, hopefully also cheap apartments. That's the building entrance. Let's go see the first spot. Oh, this is great. Kitchen's decent, bathroom's clean. I didn't think Manhattan still had stuff like this for 1900. It's not the largest apartment in the world, but to get your own place in this part of town is just so hard to do. And this is not something that I expected to see here. Look, there's a laundry room in the basement. Plus it's card activated. This is great. You don't have to leave to clean your stuff. That's where we came in and over here is the living space. Dimensions are 15 feet, seven inches by 11 feet, five inches. The windows here are overlooking the backyard, which means this place is always gonna be pretty quiet. Plus the lighting in here is really good. Put your bed by the windows, put your entertainment right there, and then against this wall you can have an actual couch. And then over here you can either have a dining table or just put some stools beneath this breakfast bar. Now we glanced at the kitchen earlier, but it looks pretty good for a studio. Four burner oven with a vent. There's a medium-ish size fridge. Plus you've got a little bit of counter space to help you cut stuff up before you cook it. No sink sprayer though. But the cabinets are pretty good. There's definitely enough of them. And as far as storage, we've got this closet, which is actually better than I was expecting. You could actually fit quite a bit inside this thing. That's good. But if this isn't enough for you, maybe a dresser or something out there is the right move. But I don't have any complaints about this bathroom. It's really well lit. There's a nice big tub. Sink's got lots of counter space. Beneath the sink, there is storage. And not only do you have this really big mirror, look at it, it turns into a medicine cabinet somehow by sliding, that's how it works. 
headed over to the second apartment. We're by this famous place right here. This market's been around for over 90 years. It's 2021, places from 1934, close enough. If you like creepy, cool, old buildings, this is definitely gonna be your neighborhood. Over here, we got a little outdoor vegetable market. If you were eating junk food in that first neighborhood we were in, come down here, you'll live longer, I think. And while you're at it, foot rub, 38 bucks. Is that a good price for a foot rub? Then we got a mattress firm, king bed, queen price. Sounds like the kind of thing you'd hear at a used car lot. Peace food, this is a little cafe. Then over here we got gin ramen. I love ramen. Soon there will be pizza, but right now there's this place. Cool menu they got here. This isn't really food, but there's like a vintage clothing place out here. Not sure how expensive it is. Then over here we got Fred's. Fred's has been owning this corner. According to the staff that work here, unbiased. How long? 25 years? 25 years. There you go. The apartment's over here on West 82nd Street. The street itself seems pleasant. Oh, cool. This is the building we get to check out. It looks awesome. I didn't know we were checking out an Upper West Side brownstone. This should be pretty cool. Isn't this cool? It's technically a studio, but there's this thing and the rent on this is $2,250. The staircase seems sturdy. And look at all the space you've got up here. So this area here, six feet, seven inches, 12 feet, two inches. I would definitely put a bed up here if this is where I lived. You could have a queen mattress and over there you could have a TV set up and all the rest of this could be used for storage. Ceilings are a little bit low, three feet, nine inches. So you kind of have to walk like this this, it's difficult. But if you're up here and you have visitors, you can spy on them. Look at how easy that is. Downstairs, we got 14 feet by 11 feet, five inches. Love the view. We're looking out over 82nd Street. It's tree-lined, it's quiet, there's no noise. Against this wall, you could have a dining table. Along this wall, you could have a couch. And then the entertainment center can go over there against the brick, that works. But even if you don't agree with that, because this layout's so unique, you could do a lot with this for sure. How's the closet? All right, not only is it a walk-in, there's a mirror in there. This could actually be a dressing room. If my attempts at facetiousness impressed you, make sure you subscribe. If you don't know what facetious means, subscribe and I'll tell you in the next video. Kitchen here is rather interesting. It's still being renovated and the management company made me wait to come here. This countertop was just installed. So you've got the brand new counter. The sink is also new, which means they've got time to put in a sink sprayer. Oven's got four burners. You've also got a vent and the fridge looks like it's a medium. I'm kind of surprised that there's a lot of cabinets tucked away in that little corner and this kitchen is definitely workable. But how is the bathroom? Okay, lighting in here is good, plus we have a bathtub. Looks like the same sink as that other apartment. But we have a much more modern medicine cabinet. I'm torn between these two places. I like this one the best. The location's more desirable, plus you got the upstairs. But that first studio made so much sense at 1900. What do you think? Let me know and then pick another video so we can have some more fun together. I'll see you in the next one.